Woe when you call evil good. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. What sorrow for those who say evil is good and good is evil. The dark is light and light is dark. That bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. The text read might sound very familiar to many of us since we keep encountering people of this caliber all throughout our life. Some outrightly call evil good probably because they want to please someone so they could be favored. Some say so because they make their livelihood by saying so. It might surprise you. Let me explain. I remember some years ago when I was enrolled for a postgraduate course in philosophy, my professor suggested that I take some issues related to feminism for my thesis. I dreaded it because I've always believed in the uniqueness of gender and not equality or inequality. The reason why they came up so strongly upon this idea was that they had a grant from a foreign university and they should produce more work related to the field so they could have sustained grants for the next few years. If one has to consciously look at it, those that say the contrast say so because of personal gain and not that they are ignorant or that the truth is unknown. They pretty much know the truth, the reality and the fact pertaining to the issue at hand, but they boldly take the opposite stand since they make the best use of the situation for their favor. Well, the world might accept it and appreciate, and few fools innocently get baited to these affairs, but God is dead against anything that is contrary to the truth. So let us be watchful about what we call good. Let us take time and effort to know the truth and the truth can set us free from being baited into fallacy. Woe when you call evil good. Amen.